Hey guys! <laughs> Welcome to Divine Conversations. I'm Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. So, this is your weekly conversation for Twin Flames in Union. Communication, whatever. You, you get the drill. Um, now, something I have realized that there were some people that resonate with both union and separation videos. I'm one of them. Um, and I came to understand that that's because of um, the fact that, you know, we have been moving towards greater union within. Um, so a lot of those messages will still apply to you. Now, this makes sense. Why? Because union within needs to be found first before union in the physical or externally can be manifest. Yes? <clears throat> um, I'm not going to talk too much. Um, if you want to get, you know, a briefing on my story, you can go ahead and check out the separation video, uh, the about first 17 minutes of it. <laughs> um, uh, it's a long video. It's over an hour. Um, and it is pretty intense. I did title it Not for the Faint of Heart because, uh, it's way too bright. That's better. Not for the Faint of Heart because, I mean, <sighs> the universe is really getting down to business, guys. Uh, no more bullshit. We ain't fucking around no more. Okay. So, um, if you did watch that video and you found yourself either slightly triggered or quite triggered, Sorry. <laughs> that was my crystal dropping. Sorry, guys. I'm not trying to trigger anybody. I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad. I'm not trying to throw anybody into um, uh, low vibrational energy, okay? But if you are getting triggered at any point by anything, know that this is something that needs to be healed and this trigger coming up for you is actually a good thing, yeah? Okay. So let's just get into this. Yeah, I'm doing the mirror reading for you guys. Um, and also I did describe in the separation video that, you know, if, uh, um, I am continuing to do, uh, mirror readings for the separation videos because we need to focus on, um, uh, the, these readings also being messages for your masculine energy. Say if you're a divine feminine watching this, which most of you are, most of us are. And, um, for the mass, for the divine masculine, you know, messages about your, Divine Feminine Within. Yes? Makes sense? Okay, great. Let's do this, guys. So, uh, so, so, so. Oh, I'm going to turn up this brightness now so I can see what's going on. Okay. Here we go. Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all twin flames that are in union or in communication, beneficial communi communication. Please bring forward the best messages for the collective at this time, the union collective at this time. Um, please give us a snapshot of the current energies of the divine feminine and the current energies of the divine masculine. And please help us understand how these energies are interacting with each other. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, let's get into this, y'all. Yeah, I'm going to, actually, I'm going to shuffle the Divine Masculine's deck first. So bear with me here while I do this shuffle. And I am going to do, I have developed this practice. And uh, one of my best friends in the Twin Flame community did um, confirm that she actually does this too. But I do, I started reading reversals. So now every time, when I shuffle, sometimes I will take like half the deck, flip it, and shuffle, and then I'll take the other half and flip that one and shuffle again, um, just to help get, okay, just to help get, you know, some good balance in the shuffle, yeah? Okay, one more for you, Divine Master. Excellent, and now we're gonna cut the deck. Right. Divine Masculine, you are set. Divine Feminine, this is going to be a your deck. And then I'm going to... We're going to start with your energies. Okay? One more shuffle for you, Divine Feminine, and then we'll get started. Well, I'll cut the deck, and then we'll get started. <laughs> yeah, the, guys, the universe is not fucking around anymore, okay? Like, it's time to get down to business. Business, y'all. All right, Divine Feminine, you have 
is your overall energy here the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So we're starting off with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and I'm um, I'm getting a breakdown. I'm so, uh, uh, a breakdown of some sort of physical reality for you, for some of you. I'm also getting um, some resistance towards the completion of something in your physical reality. Something you held very dear for some time, and so it's going to be hard to let go of. Okay, I get that. Um, but it's th this completion is being blocked somehow. Hmm. We also have the Page of Wands. And the, ooh, the King of Cups in reverse with the Seven of Wands. All right. Okay. Um, I feel like what I'm picking up, I'm going to be, <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm picking up, I'm picking up a breakup of some kind. Or, or maybe, this is weird. <laughs> um... Give me a second, guys. I'm having a trouble. I'm having trouble deciphering this one. Because with the Seven of Wands, I'm getting some pretty stern defensiveness. Okay. Um, and it's funny. It this it ha it's depicted as a woman here um, in an office space, you know, uh, making her case basically, and you know she has to back up her, you know, her case or, or her proposal with facts you know and so for some of you i mean that's what you're going through you're having to oh 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 oh, oh there it is there are some there, okay there are issues surrounding masculinity around you divine feminine this is what this is what's going on for you right now and the ten of pentacles is talking about some sort of family situation if it's not an actual blood relative um it is someone that you consider to be family and the, the the knave or the page of wands here um, is a message. Yes, could definitely be a message. Um, but I'm hearing a breakdown in communication between, and in this, this very well could be father issues with the king of cups in reverse here. Um, yes. I mean, that's the biggest thing that's coming through for me right now father issues there uh, there could have been there could have been a breakdown in communication in the past and now you're in the pro in the process of reconciling that yet we don't really have a reconcile card just yet but you could be in the process of healing that um the name the page of wands is saying to me that a message is going to be sent either by you or by this other person in which the um breakdown in, of, in communication came let's get into your storyline we have temperance. Excellent. So balance. Good. That is very good to see in relation to what we have going on in the overall energy here. Uh, balance is at play. Patience is also a factor here. So that's a good thing. And it's needed. Okay. You could be having, you could have been having, had quite a bit of patience with this, with this situation. I wanted to say with this reconciliation. Um, and you honestly, I want to say it, it hasn't come up yet, but I feel like a reconciliation is on the horizon for a lot of you in, in this situation. Um, and if it's not like a physical represent, reconciliation, like say if you have a father or an uncle or a brother or a close male friend who or someone who was a close male friend at a time, at one time, if this individual has passed, um, the reconciliation is you healing from the situation, okay? Uh, we have temperance also with the... Ooh, Yes, the King of Swords in reverse, okay? King of Swords in reverse is saying to me that someone was just was just unjust, unfair, okay? The, or maybe just the situation was unfair. Someone was refusing to see something in the situation, to be objective, to be logical. It became way too subjective, I'm, I want to say. And now... Um, Balance is being brought to the situation and healing is being brought to the situation. This is very interesting because what's coming out right now, this feels like I'm doing a general Zodiac reading right now, but this is for Twin Flames, okay? So I'm really interested in seeing how this is going to play out. Now, here's the thing, Divine Feminine. Um, if you've been experiencing trouble with your Divine Masculine lately, it could be stemming from 
um, uh, issues surrounding your relationship with some sort of male figure. Could it, it, I'm really picking up for a lot of us, um, it is father issues, daddy issues, <laughs> but, um, it doesn't have to be that. It could be someone you consider to be a father. It could be someone who was very close to you, um, a very close male figure. But what I'm picking up here is that um, this situation has been a blockage to you reaching the Ten of Pentacles that you like, that you desire, okay? Yeah. Next, we, ooh, we have the Eight of Swords, okay? Yeah, that makes sense. With the Empress. All right, so now look, you may have been up in your head about this, Divine Feminine, feeling like you're trapped. You may have felt like you were trapped in that situation altogether. Okay, but the Empress is here to remind you just of who you are, Divine Feminine, because this is your card, Divine Feminine, the Empress. Okay, you don't have to be stuck in your head about these challenges. You have the ability to nurture yourself and pull yourself out of this, pull yourself up by the bootstraps, I'm hearing, and do the work to heal the situation. You don't have to be stuck in your head about it. Okay. Okay, next we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. My, my. We've got the King of Cups in reverse, and we've got the King of Pentacles in reverse. With the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So we had the Seven of Swords. Was that Swords? No, that was the Seven of Wands. We had the Seven of Wands underneath the, everything in the deck. And now we have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Um... I'm getting that you're not sitting on the fence about this anymore. You're really not in a period of analyzing or even overanalyzing the situation when it comes to this representation of masculine energy. This is very strange. I am interested to see in seeing what comes out for the divine masculine too, because this is, I mean, this is related to your relationship to, with the divine masculine, but also this is, this, this is a mirror reading and this is, also intended to be messages about your connection with your own masculinity. So <clears throat> um, negative, negative uh, relationship drama, um, dynamics in the external world with a masculine energy, whether it be male or female, with a masculine energy will help taint your relationship with your inner masculine energies. So that makes perfect. And so actually, it's not so far fetched that this could be coming up because this is this is actively being healed right now. This is I'm hearing this is being purged from you so that you can improve your relationship with yourself. Okay. Finally, we have yeah, the tower. Look at that. Well, I mean Okay, so it's not so excited. I mean, I guess y'all y'all aren't so excited about a tower moment. I'm like, damn, Eric, why are you so happy about a tower moment? Well, actually, I am. I usually, I, I, uh, I mean, I hesitate to say this, but I, I'm usually pretty happy when a tower moment comes around. This is me speaking per, per, um, personally, because if because if a tower moment is coming, it means that something was a something was a foot that should not have been there. And so now the universe is helping me pull myself out of it. And I'm not feeling resistance. I'm not feeling like this is the universe forcing you into this situation because you have chosen to ignore something. This is happening because it needed to. Because whatever this situation represents for you was unhealthy. And not beneficial. So the tower moment, the tower is needed. So that's why I feel like it's a good thing with the nine of pentacles in reverse. So I am picking up on uh, the destruction and the dismantling of false senses of security, false representations of true identity, uh, uh, yes, of true identity, of true independence. And this is all, this is all tied into the masculine energy that is represented here by the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Um, that helped influence this this f false representation of independence. And I say false um, because it was not sustainable. It was highly egoic in nature. 
And so that's what this tower moment is bringing through. And so this is coming, all of this is happening on the divine feminine's per, uh, uh, side of the coin because of balance. Okay, you have temperance here and it's upright. So that's also making this tower moment sting a little less. Because in a sense, divine feminine, you knew this was coming. This is not a tower moment. This is not a tower moment that's so unexpected. And it's really not unexpected because you are found a deep sense of balance here. Okay? And the temperance card is also saying to me that this is helping improve your relationship with your twin. Right? All right, so for, for the divine masculine. Wow, we're starting off with mirroring, aren't we? The eight of swords in reverse. So divine masculine, you are coming out of this... Um, mental prison you found yourself in lately, okay? Um, interesting. I'm sorry, I'm going off on a sidebar, but anyway, woo, the king of wands. Here you are, divine masculine, at least in a terrestrial sense. This is you, the king of wands. You're coming out of this uh, mental prison and you have got a fire behind you. The six of pentacles is re in reverse. And we also have the Four of Wands in reverse. Now, for you, Divine Masculine, what's going on here, what this overall energy is talking about, is um, I really see you, I see this King of Wands moving forward. And in relation to all these cards, you're stepping away from the mental prison uh, surrounding imbalance and give and take and imbalance within yourself with the Four of Wands here. <laughs> Um, uh, you're leaving behind faulty foundations is really what the four of wands in reverse is saying to me. And you've got a passion and a fire about it. And this is, and, and here in this situation, the king of wands is upright. So this is a positive aspect to him. This is not, um, you know, manipulative or, um, promiscuous promiscuity or anything like that. That's not what the case is. Um, and you're really stepping in a physical sense, in a terrestrial sense, divine masculine. You are really stepping into more of your divine power, um, stepping into it, stepping into it for the first time, maybe. But for others of you, stepping deeper into it because you have understood these lessons about how give and take was imbalanced in the past, and how you know you didn't really have the most solid foundation with the Four of Wands. Okay. Yeah, let's move forward. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Not, I'm sorry, not in reverse, upright. So this is absolutely, I definitely, I definitely see, I definitely see this divine masculine, the, whoever I'm speaking to here, you are moving forward with this torch. That's excellent. Because you learned something. You really learned something. Okay, you're coming out of the Eight of Swords energy, the mental prison, and you're walking forward with this newfound inspiration, and that's fantastic. And we, whoa, more mirroring. We've got the tower. All right, so you both, both of you had a tower moment. Both sides, masculine and feminine, have had a tower moment. From the feminine perspective, um, Divine Feminine is working on healing these aspects um, and is really working on gaining the uh, re retaining the balance here on an energetic level. And so far, what I can see from the physical level for the masculine, um, they're moving forward. They're driving the ship forward, while the feminine holds holds it holds things steady. Really. Next, we have, geez, guys, the Ten of Pentacles, and this time it's upright. Okay, with the Prince of Wands in reverse. So, okay, good. Now, this is that negative aspect. Now, okay, this is why I said I was pointed out specifically that the King of Pen the King of Wands was not um, negatively aspected. We have the Knight of Wands here in reverse. So, this is talking about that negative aspect, that um, promiscuity, um, the wishy washy, in and out. You know, can't really make a decision, won't really commit to anything. That's ending. That is coming to an end. Okay. However, however that resonates with you. Okay. What the the prince of the knight. I'm sorry. The knight of wands is um, is um, representing. I also see the knight in the, in this deck, the prince of wands. But I also see the knight of wands as like a spiritual warrior. 
But really, what the Knight of Wands here in reverse is saying to me in relation to the Ten of Pentacles is um, this this reverse Knight of Wands energy is being being left behind in favor of this um, Ten of Pentacles here. This ultimate family life, this ultimate material existence, ultimate material fulfillment, yeah? That's really great. Um, next, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse with... Ooh, the Page of Wands. Wow. More freaking mirroring, guys. We've got the Page of Wands twice. Um, Lord did she? Now, I was already picking up another a, another aspect to the to the feminine's def definition here with the with the Page of Wands, which is right here. Um. But now I've <laughs> now I've forgotten it, so maybe I'll come back to it later. But the Eight of Pentacles and then the pin the the, the uh, Page of Wands here for the Divine Masculine is saying that they're not really you're not really looking to work on these things that you're not passionate about anymore. Like I see you moving, acting. I mean, this is this is you moving forward into this new sense of spirituality, right? But also, it's a message being sent that you're not going to work towards things that no longer bring you fulfillment anymore you could also be delayed in some of your action in relation to spirituality right now which could be why the eight of pentacles is reversed but for the most part i'm picking up that divine masculine is sending out the message that i'm not doing this work anymore I'm not working towards this, whatever, whatever, I'm, whatever the tower represents for you, divine masculine, you're done. And you're sending that message actively and passionately too, is what I just heard. We have the seven of swords, finally, um, with the king of swords. Yep. So uh, in relation to this knight or this prince of wands here, that is negatively aspected, um, you're seeing the error, Divine Masculine. However you have cheated, been cheated, deceived, whatever, the King of Swords is saying you're, you're seeing it objectively now. And that's part of what your tower moment was, okay? Um, yeah. This is good, guys. This is really good. Let me just take a second, make sure I have all this correct. If there's anything else I want to want to come through, the Four of Wands is in fact saying that there was a false, a faulty foundation here. But um, also, this is a, a union card for the Twin Flames. But and I mean, you, I think what I think is happening for this reading is I think we're mostly talking to. Twins that um, have separated, were, were in union and have separated, um, or are really are really on the verge of coming into union. I think this reading is for you guys because because of that four of wands. That four of wands is here speaking towards union, but it's blocked a little bit. Okay, there's just there's there are some things that still need to be worked through. Um, 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 um. um. Okay, I'm going to move on now, and I'm going to get to the uh, relationship reading here from the uh, Animal Spirit deck. One more shuffle. All right, so first card is going to be for the Divine Masculine. We have Peacock. Next, we have for the Divine Feminine, we have Cosmic Egg. Okay, and it's reversed, so I'm going to keep it that way. Nope, 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 that's too many. The next card is going to be the Shadow Aspect, and that is Beaver reversed. Uh, okay, and this is the illuminated aspect and it's gazelle and it's also reversed 
There we go. Okay. Um, peacock for the Divine Masculine. Just a second here. There you are. Peacock. Inner beauty, compassion, assimilator of anything. The beauty of peacock is unrivaled. It's easy to think it comes from the plumage, but the secret of the peacock is that the beauty resides within and extends outward indefinitely. This adept creature can assimilate or digest all experiences in life, so it does not harbor resentment, conflict, or past pain within its psyche. The peacock type is extremely rare. Not many of us have reached this advanced level of acceptance of self and others. When in balance, peacock is confident and kind. When out of balance, peacock can't digest situations. To bring into balance, meditate on the navel. And to be quite honest, yeah. Absolutely. That's, uh, uh, that is basically the ultimate goal here in this Twin Flame journey. Mastery of self, um, unconditional love, compassion. And if you're resonating with this reading, then you have either come to a state of union outside or within, and that is what is needed to do that, these qualities. So from a masculine point of view, this is happening, and it's great. Cosmic Egg. Now, actually, I was going to read Cosmic Egg in reverse, but I just realized this is a spiritual card. This is from the spiritual side. So it doesn't really give um, negative aspected. No, it doesn't. Sorry, I'm talking to my team. All right, but I'm going to leave it reversed because that's what they're asking me to do. Completion. Harmony. The infinite within the finite. The Cosmic Egg is the final card in the journey of the Animal Spirit deck, and it represents the unfolding of cosmic consciousness. This state emerges after we have tread the path for quite some time, and through self-effort and grace, we experience self-realization. A sense of contentment and oneness sponta spontaneously arises within us, and the veils of our self-limiting beliefs are lifted. When the essence of the cosmic egg has not been activated, we may feel as if we never get, we will never get there, or that we travel alone, disconnected from others. That's, this is why the, the, this, is, this card is reversed. I'll read that again. When the essence of the cosmic egg has not been activated, we may feel as if we will never, quote, get there, or that we travel alone, disconnected from others. Even if our encounter with this card is brief, appearing as a momentary glimmer or flash of interconnectedness, its potent energy stays with us. The cosmic egg is, rare, is a remedy for the fragmentation of modern life. It's through the power of this card that we are reminded of the cosmic contract written at the beginning. Sorry, guys. Written at the beginning. We hold on to life, and life holds on to us. The journey is complete, but does not end. The Cosmic Egg and the Seventh Chakra. The subtle essence of the Cosmic Egg resides at the crown chakra at the top of the head called Sahasra. Well, well, Sahasrara. I think, I hope I pronounced that correctly. One of the aims of yoga and meditation practice is to channel energy from the base of the spine upward towards Sahasrara. So, wow, okay, you, you get it. Each of the six lower chakras plays an important role along this journey. And once the final epicenter of consciousness is activated, it's said to radiate the light of a million suns. Right. So, Divine Feminine, um, going through your tower moment, uh, many of you feel like you're alone. I know I have in many cases. Um... But I think what this is, what really what this is saying is you, just to have faith that everything has happened, everything is happening for a reason, okay? Everything that you have been experiencing has been um, just a stepping stone towards greater union is what I'm hearing. Um, yeah. And for those of you that are like on the brink of union, you probably feel like you'll never, quote, get there. But that's just an illusion because you're all, we're already together in spiritual truth anyway, you know what I mean? There is no separation, only in a physical sense, right? Right. Beaver is the uh, shadow aspect, and that is reversed. Hold on. 
Where you at, Diva? Where you at? <laughs> you guys remember those commercials? Uh, Boost Mobile. They were funny. Okay, Beaver. Hard worker, loyal, tireless, family first. The beaver personality is a welcome sight. These good-natured and dependable creatures have infinite love and enthusiasm for family and express it by way of earth element, providing a home financial stability. Although a beaver doesn't usually initiate a project, once started, they'll work steadily for weeks, months, or years to see it through. The beaver card appears when the task at hand requires your long-term, steady effort. It can also signify that it's time for some karma yoga, selfless service. When in balance, beaver is happy and doing meaningful work. When it's out of balance, beaver feels useless and worn out. Um, I, I'm taking that as a message to rest, guys. And that came in for the separation video. It came out last week and it came out this week. So I'm thinking it's time for everyone to take a break. Because we've all been working really hard. And that's what Bieber is saying. It's time to take a break. Okay. Finally, the illuminated aspect is gazelle. And that one is reversed as well. Okay. Gazelle, heightened awareness and ability, vulnerable. The gazelle represents supreme grace. With every move, this awe-inspiring beauty emits sophistication and elegance. Gazelle personalities are often hyper-aware of their surroundings, border on, bordering on hyper-vigilant, and this can inhibit them from enjoying the beauty they've spent so much effort cultivating. No no more worrying about all those predators out there in the wild. When this card appears, it's time to, to get back to the present moment. Sit down, find your breath, and acknowledge the bounty that surrounds you. Let it nourish your gentle spirit. When in balance, gazelle is graceful, perceptive, and artistic. When out of balance, gazelle experiences food allergies, insomnia, and, ra and a racing mind. To bring into balance, one must partake in yoga, a cozy home, or good food. Yeah, well, okay. And now both of these came up in reverse because the universe has been trying to get us to just like relax for a second, just chill out. And especially with this tower moment that's happening here for us guys that are resonating with this reading, it is really important that we get some rest and nurture. So maybe take, and I know I've been experiencing this. Um, I wanted to do all kinds of extra readings and extra work this week, but I didn't. I literally just rested all weekend, okay? So, uh, not all weekend, all week. So, um, Gazelle was really saying, to me, was really saying self-care, okay? Focus on doing some self-care, both you, both of you guys, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Go on a trip together, I just heard, if you can. Like, if you're in connection, if you're in communication, well, this is the union video, so yeah. So, uh, but it's not just for... Y'all get it. <laughs> if you can, go on a vacation together. Take a trip. Or go on a trip by yourself. Or go on a trip with some friends. But we definitely are in need of some healing. Some rest. All right. I was just looking down to see if there was anything else I needed to say. But no, that's it. I love you guys. This reading wasn't as harsh as the separation reading was. Um, but there's some strong stuff going on here because, I mean, we got two towers for the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. Um, but I feel like, you know, at this point, if you're resonating with the Union videos, but you're not necessarily in Union, like, I, I resonate with these sometimes. Um, uh, well, actually, I did resonate a little bit at the beginning. I, I, okay, fine. I, res I resonated with it. Um, but I'm not in union. I'm not really not even in, com in, com or in communication with my twin, but I've found union within, right? Um, I don't remember where I was going with that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, but anyway, like, yeah. Yeah, okay. I was just taking, sorry guys, I was channeling trying to take in the, the message, but that's about it. So I'm just going to go. I love you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye.